one, two, three. Good. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon. Students. Good afternoon. Uh, let's give a few minutes for teacher Om um, to quickly play a warm up game with us before we start. Okay. okay. Guys, do you remember last week that we do? Okay, put your hand, two hands, okay, deep out. All right, 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay, thank you. We're good. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. Um, currently in communication, we are busy with unit nine. A visit to a city. So what did we discuss last time? We discussed the vocabulary and also what do they mean? So the first word we looked at last time was the museum. Now a museum is a place for old artifacts and historical artifacts. So if you want to learn about the past, we can go to the museum and see how people lived long ago. Okay, the next one was the bus stop. So we go to the bus stop if we want to find a bus. Yes, if you want to find a bus. The next one is a ticket. So when we get on the bus, we also need to have a bus ticket to show that we have paid for our trip. The next one we looked at was the subway. Now the subway, I said, is the underground train. It is like the MRT in Bangkok is the subway. And in England, they call it the tube or the underground. The next one was traffic. Now traffic, I told you guys, is when there is a lot of cars, you can get stuck in traffic where you have to wait for a long time before you can drive anywhere. And the last one is the bridge. Now the bridge is something they put on the main roads. You can also find them in Pechabun. And those are useful for when you want to walk across the main road. You can go up to the bridge and walk over the road and come down the other side. This helps to keep us safe and that we don't disrupt traffic on the main road okay so when we go to the big city or to a big city we have a couple of things that we can do and as i got some pictures of some cities and what they can offer you so first before we start i wanted to ask when we go to a city for example to bangkok what can you do there in the city what can we do in the city? Who can tell me? Let's hear, let's hear. Anyone, anyone who can tell me what do we do or what can we do when we go to a big city? Anyone have an example? Hmm. A bit slow today. Okay, let me give you a few examples. Uh, in the big city, what, it, what makes big cities sometimes a nice place to go to is the variety of activities we can do. For example, in Bangkok, we can go to a theme park. Now, a theme park can offer us a lot of fun because we can go on different rides or, or roller coasters and a lot of games that we can play in the theme park. We can also go to a water park to go on water slides. We can also do a lot of things like, let's say, tempen bowling or try international food from around the world. So there's a lot of different things that we can do when we go to a city. 
It's all about what do you want to go do when you are there and finding a place where you can do it. So to move on with our lesson and our section, um, we are currently busy with number B. We finished A of the previous one last week. So today we're going to do B. So here we have to listen to the story again. And remember, I will give you two opportunities to listen to the story. And then we have to answer the questions. But before we listen to the story, I first quickly want to read the three questions so that we can listen for the answer. So question number one, what are the boy and girl talking about? Remember, we have to listen to find that answer. Number two, what did the girl like the most about the city? And number three, which city did the girl visit? Okay, so let's listen to the story and then we answer the questions. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's make sure the sound is on here. Okay. Here we go. Please listen carefully. B. Listen again and answer the questions. How was your trip to New York and Chicago? I only visited New York. It was great. What did you do? I went to an art museum and a science museum. Where did you stay? I stayed at a hotel. What did you like the best? I really liked visiting the Statue of Liberty. Okay, one more time. Listen carefully. B. Listen again and answer the questions. How was your trip to New York and Chicago? I only visited New York. It was great. What did you do? I went to an art museum and a science museum. Where did you stay? I stayed at a hotel. What did you like the best? I really liked visiting the Statue of Liberty. Okay. So, are you guys ready to answer? For number one, let's read the question again. What are the boy and girl talking about? Is it A, where they live, B, their favorite city, C, the girl's trip, D, the boy's art? Which one do you think it is? A, B, C, or D? Uh, C. C. Can you read the sentence, please? The girl's trip. The girl's trip. Excellent, excellent. They were talking about the holiday or the trip that the girl went on. Very good. And for number two, let's read the question. What did the girl like the most about the city? A, the art museum. B, the Statue of Liberty. C, the science museum. D, the expensive hotel. Who can tell me? A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Hmm. B. 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 Excellent, excellent. B, it is the Statue of Liberty. She said she liked the Statue of Liberty the most. Very good. And then the last question, which city did the girl visit? A, New York. B, New York and Chicago. C, Chicago. D, New Chicago. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? A, B, C, or D? <laughs> hmm. What do we think? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Is it A, B, C, or D? Hmm. 
Do you guys want to listen to it one more time to find the answer? I think that is a good idea. Let's listen to it, the story one more time. Then we see if we can find the answer to number three. Okay, here we go. B. Listen again and answer the questions. How was your trip to New York and Chicago? I only visited New York. It was great. What did you do? I went to an art museum and a science museum. Where did you stay? I stayed at a hotel. What did you like the best? I really liked visiting the Statue of Liberty. Okay, so number three. Which city did the girl visit? You can tell me. Hmm? I'm listening. Uh, A. A, are you sure? A, uh, yes, it might be. It might be A. Why is it, why can it be A? Because the Statue of Liberty is in New York. The Statue of Liberty you can find in New York. So let's see if we have the correct answers. Pam, pa, pam, 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 pam. Hey. Good job, Leon. Thank you for giving us all the correct answers. For the next question, I'm going to call someone's name because we need some more students to answer. Okay. Can't only have Leon doing all the answering. We need someone else to also help him and help the rest of the class. Okay. So to move on, let's see what they are going to ask us. Listening practice three. So listen and circle the correct answer or fill in the blanks. So here we have a couple of questions. Let's quickly read them before we listen to the story. So the first one here, how many tickets do they want? The next one, which show do they want to see? The next one, why are they late? Second last one. How much do the tickets cost? And the last one. What time do they need to be home? Okay, so let's listen carefully. A. Listen. Circle the correct answers or fill in the blanks. We'd like four tickets for the 7 o'clock show, please. It started 10 minutes ago. I know we're late, but traffic was very bad. There was an accident on the bridge. We had to walk 10 blocks to catch the subway. Would you like tickets for the 10 o'clock show? No, we have to be home by 11. Okay, that'll be $40, please. Okay, let's listen to it one more time. A. Listen. Circle the correct answers or fill in the blanks. We'd like four tickets for the 7 o'clock show, please. It started 10 minutes ago. I know we're late, but traffic was very bad. There was an accident on the bridge. We had to walk 10 blocks to catch the subway. Would you like tickets for the 10 o'clock show? No, we have to be home by 11. Okay, that'll be $40, please. Okay, so the first one. How many tickets do they want? Four. Four. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much, boss. That is 100% correct. They want four tickets. Which show do they want to see? Seven o'clock or seven ten o'clock? Seven o'clock. Are you sure? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay, okay. So we have two answers. One for seven, one for ten. So let's choose both of them. 
and let's see who will be the winner at the end. Okay, why are they late? Two options, two options. We have to choose one. Too much traffic. Yeah, why is there too much traffic? Do you remember? Why was there too much traffic? Who can tell me? Hmm. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, I will tell you. So then you can learn what, or then you can maybe remember what they said. <clears throat> they said there was an accident on the bridge. And usually in a big city, when we have an accident, um, it usually blocks a lot of cars and it blocks the road. So the cars build up for a very long time and the traffic becomes very bad. So then it takes a long time to get to your destination. So it was indeed too much traffic. So how much do the tickets cost? Forty dollars. How much? $40. $40. $40. Is that for all the tickets or just for one ticket? All, all, all the, tickets. the tickets. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. That is for all the tickets. Uh, my friend. So it costs them. $40. Excellent. So what time do they need to be home? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Why, why is it not 10 o'clock? Why not 10 o'clock? Because the lady wanted to offer them tickets for 10 o'clock and then the boy said sorry uh, but we have to be home by 11 so that answer is 100 percent correct but let's first make sure if all the answers are correct tum -tum 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 -tum. oh i can't see here oh so it was hey excellent very good so the first one was four the next one was seven o'clock, but they were 10 minutes late because of too much traffic. Okay, very good, you guys. So when we move forward, yeah, we're going to listen to the same story again, but this time we'll have to choose either true or false. Okay, so let's listen to it again two times. And then we answer the questions. Here we go. B. Listen again and choose T for true or F for false. We'd like four tickets for the 7 o'clock show, please. It started 10 minutes ago. I know we're late, but traffic was very bad. There was an accident on the bridge. We had to walk 10 blocks to catch the subway. Would you like tickets for the 10 o'clock show? No, we have to be home by 11. Okay, that'll be $40, please. One more time. B. Listen again and choose T for true or F for false. We'd like four tickets for the 7 o'clock show, please. It started 10 minutes ago. I know we're late, but traffic was very bad. There was an accident on the bridge. We had to walk 10 blocks to catch the subway. Would you like tickets for the 10 o'clock show? No, we have to be home by 11. Okay, that'll be $40, please. Okay, question number one. There was an accident on the bridge. Is it true or 
false? True. True. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll mark it as true. Excellent. Thank you very much for the answer. Number two. They had to walk and take the subway. True or false? True. Mm, guys, don't sound sure. Are you 100% sure? 50% sure. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. <laughs> okay. That is, uh, that is uh, probably as confident as it gets. So you guys say true as well. But let me ask you a different question. They had to walk and take the subway. Yes, it's true. But why did they have to walk and take the subway? The traffic. Um, I'm not sure about this question. You're not sure. Okay, let me let me ask again. Why did they have to take the subway? The answer is on this page. The answer is on the page. You just have to read the answer. Because. There, there was an accident on the bridge. Excellent. Because there was an accident on the bridge. So the traffic became very congested and they had to walk 10 blocks to catch the subway. Okay. So let's see if our answers are correct. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Very good. Now, here at the bottom, they give us a useful expression. So expressions is short sentences that we use in English to tell someone what we are doing or how we feel. It's in, in short, it is to express ourselves. So they can, the one they say is catch the. So you can say, I want to take the bus or take the train or take the subway, or we can say, I want to catch the bus. It's not like you're going to catch it like a fly or like you would catch a bird, but it means that you're going to get on the bus. You have to go and get to there and take that bus, train or subway. So yeah, they give us a short example. A, what time do we need to be at the bus stop? We have to catch the bus at eight o'clock, meaning we have to get on the bus at eight o'clock. Okay, a very useful expression that we can use. So they went, let me ask another question. Where were they going to when they took the subway? Where did they go to when they took the subway? Hmm. Hmm. You can tell me. Where did they go to after they took the subway? Can you remember? What were they doing? Hmm. Let's go back one page and let's see. Uh, let's clear off here. And let me ask the question again. Where did they go to after they took the subway? They went to go see a they went to go see a show. You guys remember? They were 10 minutes late for the show because of the traffic. So they took the subway to go to the show. Now the show that they were watching is long gone. The name of the show. Not sure if it is a show that we know. Okay. So I think we have one more page to go. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, oh, it's our final page. Yes. Excellent. So I wanted to do something else while we finish this unit. And that is, I want us to write two sentences about going to the big city. So let me just quickly do this, going to the big city. So you have to write two sentences about going to the big city. Oh, where's my meeting now? Oh, there you are. So I want you, all of us, to write two sentences. Going to the big city. Write two sentences. Now, what is the sentences going to be about? Um, we have to write two sentences about what we like to do in the city. So you can also say, what is the name of the city? So first we're gonna write two sentences about what we like to do in the city. So I'll give you an example, just to make sure that you understand. So example number one. What color am I gonna use? Let me use green. I like to visit Bangkok because I like to go to the theme park to ride the roller coasters. I like to visit Bangkok because I like to go to the theme park to ride roller coasters. Now that's a very long sentence. You don't have to make a sentence that long, but if you can, that would be very good. And my second sentence is, I also like to try international food in the big city. Or you can say in Bangkok. And that can be any type of food. Maybe I would like to try some food from India, or maybe I want to try some food from Turkey, or I want to try some food from Vietnam, or some food from China, or maybe I want to try Thai food. It doesn't really matter what type of food, but food that is from all around the world. So for this example, you have the two sentences right here. So I want all of us to write two sentences to explain what we like to do in the city. Uh, let me just draw this over here. Write two sentences, what we like to do in the city. When you are finished with the sentences, I also want you to send them in the line group. Please send the send please send the homework to the line group. When you are finished. Now, if you are not sure about what you can do in the big city, you can always ask someone around you. So you can maybe ask from your mom or from your dad or from your, your brother or sister or aunt or uncle, if you want to find out some more information about what we do in the big city. And everyone might be a little bit different. So uh, please try and be a little bit creative about what you like to do, okay? Do, do you guys understand? Does, do you guys understand? Is anyone, is there anyone yes. that, okay, you guys, Tempa understands at least. Is there anyone that does not understand what to do? Okay. So this should only take you about two, three minutes to quickly write down two sentences. It won't take you a long time if you already know what you like. 
to do in the big city. Okay. So that will be all that we have to do for this year. After that, I will see you guys then again in the next year. Then we can discuss different topics and stories. But first, I want to ask you before we play rock, paper, scissors, what did we talk about today? Who can tell me? What did we talk about today? Hmm. Can anyone tell me? What did we talk about today? About, about tickets. About the tickets <laughs> to go see the show. Yes, excellent. Yes, excellent. But we're also currently busy with the unit in the university the city. <laughs> so we talked about the tickets and how they got stuck. Uh, in the traffic because of an accident, and they had to take the subway. Okay. So let's quickly play rock, paper, scissors, and let's see if anyone can be teacher today. So if you are ready, please turn on your cameras. I'll give you about five seconds before we start. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Shoot. Oh, a Porsche. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, Porsche is the only one to beat teacher. Unlucky for those who did not beat teacher today. But don't worry, next week we will have a new opportunity. Okay. Oh, Tempa also put rock. Okay, so Tempa also, congratulations. She answered in the chat. So it's Tempa and Porsche. Good job, you guys. So thank you guys for coming to our class today. Was not a lot of students, um, but thank you guys for coming. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. We have a couple of days off, so enjoy your off time. And I'll see you guys again bright and early somewhere next week. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, Luna. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.